Anniversary trip! Yay! Going to pick up my parcel. Finally on the road! I was gonna say, it only took us 20 minutes to figure out how to work the gimbal, but that's good. <laughs> I'm just holding the camera too, but he was like, nah, you're too shaky, you drunk bitch, go home. <laughs> I just looked on Google Maps and was like, okay, where's good to eat? It's called Pino Coco because the name sounded cute and the pictures looked pretty decent. So let's go check it out. Finally get to eat Italian though. As you can see, I'm a professional vlogger because I eat the food before I take a picture of it. It was pretty solid, out of 10. I would say a 7 out of 10. Could have been stickier. Stickier yeah, rice. Yeah, the risotto, like the flavor was really good, but the actual rice was not. Apparently, Taizong has some really good yuzhou. This is a random store I found. It's, it's okay. a very awkward time of the day. It's like 3.39, nothing's open. Everything closes from like 3 to 5, so we, we just sort of found what it is. Do you want to like hold the camera so I'm in it too? But I don't know. See? Yeah, we got a yuzhou. Looks pretty good. Surrounded by mountains now. It's pretty cool. Well, this is a bit close. Bully! We are here. It just started raining outside, which is a bit lame. Regardless, we're gonna have a good time. Hello, the new sun. Quarantine hotel. No, I'm getting PTSD. Every time I stay in a hotel, I need little slippers. This is pretty much a metaphor for my life in Taiwan. Wow. She got pretty. Not bad at all. Oh. Jiggle, jiggle. Fishies. Wow, they are following the gold one. So pretty. Ooh, they're gonna eat your finger. Da 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 and pulley. Taiwan Really pretty. Really nice view. So cool. Let's go see what the weather's like today. Do, 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 do. I'm going down to get our breakfast in our sleepers. About at yeah. seven in the morning, so seven. we can't wake up. Unheard of. Yeah. We call this the dirty melon. So good. That's good so dirt. good. Good dirt. I don't know if you have ever tasted good dirt, but this is it. <laughs> Got our breakfast. Um, we're just gonna chill in the hotel for a bit, take some pictures, and then we're gonna head over to Ryuetan. And then they go to Oh, oh shit! It's, it's like a theme park, yeah. And, oh, with uh, posters and stuff. Does it actually have anything to do with like the Jiaozong? Yeah, Jiaozong. It's like the idea is based around the nine tribes that lived in Taiwan before the Chinese took over. And through that, they built a roller coaster. No, a whole theme park. All packed up, ready to go. Off to our, off to Rio Tan. We gave them a call this morning to make sure everything was open. So they were like, "Yeah, it's open," and then I was like, "It's all the stuff open." He's like, "Yeah, most of it." Right, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what's actually open. Going through another tunnel. Should I have a hair down? Let's 
the hair up kind of day just because it's gonna get sweaty. You're right, I'm already sweaty. And I haven't shaved my armpits in like two months. Oh damn girl, you're wild like a Taiwanese forest. <laughs> just talking before we turned on the camera about how Taiwan feels a little bit like, I always feel like it's like Jurassic Park. Yeah, like everything here is like extra large. Yeah, all the, all the except for the people. Like, <laughs> like the ants are massive. The geckos are massive. Like New Zealand obviously has like a lot of forests and natural places as well. They get a little more. It just like, feels like, more tame. Yeah. Oh, that was really quick. They have some pretty cool stuff. We intentionally came on a Monday because, as you can see, it's like no people here. Cool. Let's head on in. Got those tourist vibes. Yeah. They said their their performance is starting, so yeah. but no one else is going. Everyone just went up there. Everyone so just sad. going up to the gondola, so we, we're gonna stay here and check it out. <laughs> Get bit. Three, four, five, six, seven. Oh my god. Seven. Yeah. Seven bites in like five minutes. Delicious. That's a big ass KDA. Oh, we're nearly at the climax. Nearly at the Gautau. You can't bore the girl. You the Sun Moon Lake. So Got my ice cream. And a strawberry milk. Such a nice day. So happy. <laughs> We're making our way back down the mountain and uh, going through all the little villages. It's the great Aboriginal peepee stick. It's so similar to the New Zealand. The roof, I mean ceiling actually this low. So this is the royal family house. I'm not really sure as a comparison. That's the, the height of the door. Why? That's tall. It's to the knee. Oh, it's big inside. Oh, it's just the entrance. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh wow, it's actually Please. pretty tall. It smells funky though. Kitchen? Dining area? Hey, can you ask me where the front door is? Yeah. This is how much money it is. Three thousand. Three thousand. Hey, Cha. Funny how they put the food hut so high, eh? So you couldn't reach it. I wouldn't be skinny. Got the rukai. All the wax figures are really nice. Similar to Maori in that sense. Who are you? Put a ring on it. So pretty. So colorful. If you don't know how to weave, you cannot get married and you cannot go across the rainbow bridge after death. Alright, so this is our first ride of the day on the splash mountain easy. See, everyone's like, oh, it's over. They take their hoods off. And then, ah! <laughs> yeah. Like it's like. Finally cooled down a little bit. Yeah. All right, we're doing we're doing some teamwork on the little cannon boat now, but no one's near us. It's really quite a strange mixture of things here, eh? From like Aboriginal gardens to lollipop land. We're on the log flume. Getting their steps in for the day. Let's ride for the day. We just got offered um, tickets to go on the boat around Sun Moon Lake. It's only 50 bucks per person. Yeah, it's really good. Mm -hmm. 
made our first stop. It's a random, the first island little stop in the middle of Sun Moon Lake. They're famous for their Chaya Dan. We waited for the next boat, which is now here. Just out of waiting. It's so nice. The rain's on the lake. So it's raining now, but we found a pretty cool street with lots of food. Oh, cool, that sounds good. We hear the red tea. We got Hong Sao, that's it, man. So, once they we go. Pretty damn good. Cheers, bro. Not the best timing. Got a little bit wet. Just a little. Yeah. Well, it's a little bit wet. Oh, man. It's also Taiwan. Ten cents. Alright, we're back in the car. All dried up, finally. <laughs> Not really, even. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was at the parking machine, there's like a line of 10 people and all the money is too wet. So I keep putting it in, it's like... <laughs> like, hard to win. Luckily this, this guy helped me change to uh, change some coins, so... Yeah, we are us. soaked to our underwear. Yeah, we were thinking of doing a stop in Taizong on the way home, but I uh, don't think we're gonna do that now. now. So we're just gonna uh, head home. It's been, it's been a dope trip. Yeah, two hour drive, let's go. Anniversary, full of excitement. Yay! Back out into this beautiful blue sky at sunset. It feels like we just took a shower. Uh, what a nice trip. I guess we'll um, let you guys know when we're back home. And that's pretty much going to be the end of the vlog. And we'll just finish it off with some beautiful B-roll, I guess. Bye! Bye!